All right, the Team 10 troubleshooter is breaking new details on a weight loss doctor. This man, he is accused of seriously injuring patients across the country. More than a dozen of those patients came to Team 10 for help after seeing that doctor. Troubleshooter Kristen Severance met three of them hours after they spent thousands of dollars traveling to Mexico, taking the first step to stop Dr. Mario Almanza. Hello, you guys. These three women didn't know each other a month ago. Holding hands in a San Diego hotel lobby, they now say they're bonded for life. I don't know if I could have made it without you girls this time. They connected after Team 10's investigations into Dr. Mario Almanza. They all chose to get weight loss surgery by the doctor in Tijuana, Mexico. I thought I was going to go live life a healthier, newer me. Jessica Ballenby had the surgery in March 2014. I mean, hours after I had surgery, I had complications. I started bleeding out through my stomach immediately. All of a sudden I felt something wet and I looked down and my whole entire stomach was completely saturated in blood. This is Jessica before surgery. She's had to miss months of work, can't afford her medical bills, and she can't keep weight on. It's been so hard. Not feeling good and then being sick on top of it and then it's messed me up mentally so much, it's not even funny. I posted my concerns. Diana Thomas had her surgery in 2014. She was so sick, she said her doctors told her to say goodbye to her children. It's really difficult to say goodbye to your family, knowing that I'm not gonna be there as a grandparent. I'm not gonna be there as a mother. I'm going to be there as a wife. She's still recovering. It's been a long two days. And Keisha Baez, she had surgery in June of this year. She said she was left with a hole in her stomach. Meeting these women, it's like they understand. All three women raised money on their own to fly to L.A. Sunday. They drove to Tijuana, Mexico to file former complaints with the Baja California Medical Arbitration Office against Almanza. It's the first step before an investigation can be launched. The complaints can't be done online. They must be done in person. To go back into the town where you had the surgery is just bringing it all back, and it's terrifying. After they filed, they drove to San Diego to sit down with me. If we can stop him from doing this to others, then, you know, that's all that matters in life. If we can save another life, then it was well worth it. They say they made the trip for the people who can't do the same. Almanza's booking agency boasts that he has done several thousand successful surgeries. Team 10 confirmed through their families or death certificates that four former patients died a few weeks to a month after surgery by the weight loss doctor. Annette Coronado Garcia's family said she died a month after surgery. The 37-year-old had no pre-existing conditions and was not morbidly obese. I talked to her mother and 21-year-old daughter from their Crystal City, Texas home. Annette also leaves behind a 4-year-old daughter and an 11-year-old son. It hurts because of my brother and my sister. It hurts. It hurts to know that. They won't have my mom. What I've gone through, it could have been me. I could have not been here. I could have left behind my family. And I just feel like it was the right thing to do. I'm Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance. Now, Dr. Almanza has refused our request for a statement and interview. We are waiting to hear back from the Baja California Medical Arbitration Office on when an investigation will be launched.